So this is by far the easiest and simplest way to get flawless skin retouching in Photoshop from start to finish. Okay, let's do this. Let's just pretend you've got a few photos from the same photo shoot or maybe just one photo and you want the fastest and easiest way to retouch the skin without going through the complicated process in Photoshop. Here is how you do it. So go at the top here, left click on window and select actions. Your action panel is going to pop up. Just left click on these four horizontal lines and select button mode. So now your action panel is going to look like this. So just go down and left click on auto skin retouch headshot because this is a headshot image. If I was working on a medium or full body shot, I would have selected auto skin retouch medium or full body shot. Just left click on auto skin retouch headshot. So the action will do everything for you. Just go at the top here, leave the opacity at 100%, change the flow from 100% to 15%. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger using the brackets on the keyboard like this and then paint on the skin to smooth it out and remove blemishes at the same time. So if you like this video or if you've learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. So I'll keep changing the size of my brush using the brackets on the keyboard, depending on the area that I'm working on. Okay, so this is the before, this is the after. So we've lost a little bit of the highlights, that shininess we had before. So let's add it back. So go on your actions panel and select face pop. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So if the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here to your liking. Okay, so go back to your actions panel and left click on lipstick colors here. Open the lipstick colors folder and enable any layer here. Let me just enable this one here and then close it here. So everything is already set and selected for you. Just go at the top here and change the flow from 15% to 100% here. Let me just zoom in a little bit, Control or Command plus on the keyboard and just paint the lips here like this. Let me just zoom out a little bit, Control or Command minus on the keyboard. So if you don't like this lipstick color, just open the lipstick colors folder and browse the colors in the folder. So if none of these colors work for you, just double click here and the color picker panel is going to pop up. So from here you can pick any color and any shade that you want or you can just sample from the image like this. So this color matches the tone of my image. So I'll keep it and then I'm just going to click OK here and then I'm going to close the lipstick folder. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here. So this is the before, this is the after. So go back to your actions panel and select high blows darken. Remember everything is already set and selected for you. So just paint on the eyebrows to darken them. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and then paint the eyebrows like this. So this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here. Go back to your actions panel and select eyeshadow pop. Everything is already set and selected for you. Just make sure the opacity is at 100% and the flow is at 100% here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and just paint the eyeshadows like this. If the effect is too much, I can always reduce the opacity here. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Let's just make the eyes whiter. Go back to your actions and then go down here. Just select the teeth and eye whitening. Everything is already set and selected for you. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, like maybe somewhere here. And then I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, like this. And just paint on the eyes to make them whiter, like this. Okay, so this is the before. This is the after. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So this is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here. For this image, I'm just going to put it at maybe 60%. So this is the before, this is the after. So if you notice that we are just painting and reducing the opacity, that's how simple the beauty retouching actions pack is to use. So these actions are part of my beauty retouching actions pack. This pack also comes with a mini course that shows you how to load the actions in Photoshop and how to use them. So the links to these actions will be in the video description below. Or let me know in the comments so that I can send you the link. 
So retouching your photos without color grading them is like cooking a great meal and forgetting salt. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's color grade this photo real quick so that you see what I mean. So go to your actions panel. On color grade actions, select light, medium, dark skin tones. Just left click on it. So the gradient map panel is going to pop up. Just click on gradient editor. So the gradient editor is going to pop up. Just go down here or skin tone gradients. Just left click on this icon to open it. So from here, just go through these skin tones to see which one works for your image. So these gradients are in my skin tone gradient pack. The links will be in the video description below. So for this image, I'll just use this one since I can go back and change it if I want to. Then I'm just going to click OK here. On the gradient map panel, just going to click OK here. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. But it's affecting the entire photo when I just want it on my model skin. So I have a few options. I'm going to make sure my layer mask here is selected. I'm going to hold Ctrl or Command and press I on the keyboard to invert the layer mask. So this is going to hide the effect. Everything is already set and selected for me. I'm just going to make sure the opacity here is at 100%. The flow here is at 100%. And since the layer mask here is now black, I'm going to make sure my foreground color here is set to white. By clicking on this icon here to switch between white or black foreground color, or I can just click on this icon here to reset it. I'll make my brush a little bit bigger using the brackets on the keyboard. Then I'll just paint back the effect, but on the skin. Okay, so this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. But if you're using the latest version of Photoshop, do this instead. The link to download the latest version of Photoshop will be in the video description below. Let me just delete this layer mask by drag and dropping it on this bin icon here and then delete. So the effect will be all over the place. Let me just add a new layer mask here by clicking on this layer mask icon here like this. On your layers panel here, just go down and select the background layer here. And then from here, just go to your tools and select the object selection tool. Just go on select people here, then left click on this thumbnail. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to select my model's skin because that's where I want this effect to be applied. So I'm going to select the facial skin. I'm going to add the nose, the ears and upper body skin and then just click apply here. So Photoshop will make a selection of what you've just selected. So I want this selection to be loaded in this layer mask here. So I'm going to left click on this layer mask to select it. So you can see the layer mask here is white. You'll see what's going to happen when I load this selection into this layer mask here. On the keyboard, I'm going to hold Ctrl or Command, then press I. You can see now we have something in this layer mask, which means our selection is now loaded in this layer mask here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to deselect this selection here. So I'm going to hold Ctrl or Command, then press D on the keyboard to deselect like this. Let me just select the move tool by pressing V on the keyboard like this. So you can see the effect is affecting the areas that I don't want it to, like the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, since the layer mask here is already selected, I'm going to hold Ctrl or Command and press I again like this. So the effect is now on the areas where I want it to be. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to go to my tools and select the brush tool here. I'm just going to make sure my foreground color here is set to white. Opacity is at 100%. The flow is at 100%. And then I'll just paint the edges of my selection to fine tune them. So this is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. If the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity here to your liking. So if you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my beauty retouching actions pack. The links will be in the video description below. So what you need to do from here is to export your image. And if you'd like to learn the best export settings for social media, you should check this video here.